Let me go over the black charts real quick. We went over the J signal charts yesterday. The black charts are very simple to execute. All right. The first thing you're going to do when you log in is you're going to look for five minute trend. All right. You're going to look for five minute trend. The moving averages are crossed down here. Here's your moving average crossed down. I got them both on there on the volume and price profile. If the moving averages are down and you get big spread between them, you know you're in a hard downtrend. You're looking for a retracement short. So what we do, I have two value areas that, excuse me, are posted in the room. I've got red plus signs and I got green plus signs. The green plus signs are low value area. The red plus signs are high value area. Okay? If the moving average, the slower moving average, which is white, and the dominant moving average, which is magenta, if, if it's crossed down, the slower cross down through the larger, you know you're in a downtrend. You look for the first test when price comes within two or three ticks of high value area, which are the red plus signs. You're allowed to take the first pulling bar off your Rinko bar chart. You must get a pulling bar within two ticks, maximum three ticks on HVA, high value area. Okay. You notice when the moving averages crossed down, it came down and test the low value area at seven o'clock. I don't want you to buy the low value area in a downtrend. I want you to wait for a retracement to high value area on the first test of the area in a downtrend. Let it come within two or three ticks, and this is the type of move you can get. Okay? If you're in a downtrend, how do you play off low value area then? Low value area in, the next retest would be a break of 98. If it retests 98 within two or three ticks and get a pulling bar, that would be called a number three trade. So there's only two possible setups you can get on the black charts, on either one. You can get a number one or a number three. So when you first log in the trading room, you ask yourself, what's the trend? And if you're trading off the black charts, it's totally separate than the J signal charts. These are different profile levels. But you don't get a lot of them. You don't get a lot of levels that post during the day, so they're easy to recognize where the next setup is. If the moving averages are crossed down, you sell the first test of the, of the plus, the red plus. It's got to come within two ticks, maximum three ticks of it, and then get a pulling bar off the three Rinko. Maximum 15 tick loss, I use a 13 tick stop loss. You don't want to use more than a 15 tick stop loss on number one trades. It should reverse right at my market profile levels. Okay? So if you're in a downtrend, sell the first test of red within two, maximum three ticks. If you come down to green, avoid it. Let it break green, which is low value area. Let it retest green within two or three ticks. So let it retest 95. 96 and then get a pull-in bar for a number three possible trade for continuation short. That's called a number threes are called continuations. Number ones are called reversals. I'm looking for a V top reversal for number ones. I'm looking for a breakdown retest on number threes. So when you see traders reference these trades, they say a number one, they're looking for a retracement with overall trend direction. When they reference number threes, they're looking for a breakdown of LVA if the trend is down and a retest of LVA. Vice versa, if the market's in an uptrend, I look for the first test. If the moving averages were up, I would buy the first test of this. Let's say these moving averages were reversed and the white was above the magenta. I'd wait till it comes down here and buy the first test of low value area when it comes within two or three ticks. It's that simple. Don't make these black charts any more difficult than that. Okay? The wicks can break through the number ones and number threes, you cannot body candle close or it's not a trade. You cannot hold body candle close. They're both equally effective, Robert. One thing I get all the time, which one do you trade? If they're within 10 ticks of each other, I trade the one that's on the outer edge. If they're not within 10 ticks of each other, I'll take the first one that comes within two or three ticks. Make sense? If they're within 10 ticks of each other, then I'll take the outer edge one the one that's farthest away from price because I don't want to get caught in trying to buy or sell volume when it just goes up and touches price. All right, the pull-in bar will tell you when to get in. Part of the body candle close, yeah, if you get a you know, whole body candle close above, the trade's over. It's a lot to straddle, but it cannot close a whole body candle close, meaning the, the whole, you see how the hole right here, 
Josh's question is, is that on this number one trade, if it would have broke through HVA right there, high value area, when is it trade negated? It's negated if this body of the candle, this big red body or the big green body closes, a whole body candle close above it. That negates the sell. It's allowed to break an inch or bar. Okay, it's doing that on gold. It, it wicked on the second second test. It wicked, and then it straddled. Now gold's going down into the news. So down here, that's a straddle. The wicks don't count. It can break through low value area. It just can't close the body of the candle. Okay, Josh. Are we all clear on number ones now? On the black charts. Now the hedge fund, which is red and green dashed lines, you treat it just like HV and LVA. Hit me why, guys and gals, are we clear on this? It's got to be the first test of the area. So when you're on the black charts, you ask yourself, where's my number one, where's my number three? A lot of you guys got that this morning. That's why I asked who got it. A lot of you guys and gals got it. Good job. Okay? Now to help you out, 